Well, we submitted a plan, uh, what the, the New Sustainable Alaska Plan, in December of last year, and that was put together by Alaskans over a period of last summer and, and about six months of putting that together. So what we're asking the legislature to do is to, to uh, you know, pass the plan, unless they have a, a, you know, a better plan, but we need to fix Alaska, and this is the session to fix Alaska. So we're asking them not to uh, take an easy way out, uh, draw down on, on uh, you know, permanent fund earnings and, and call it good, fix, the, fix Alaska by using all, all the tools that are on the table, uh, use them to fix Alaska. You know, our plan was that we put together uh, was put together with that in mind. You know, we listened closely to them. We presented the plan in New York, uh, I believe it was in February, and said, "Here's our plan." And they said, "The plan's fine, but will, are you, will you get the uh, legislature to uh, to support that and vote for it?" So, so the plan is there. The plan is fine, and and uh, the bond markets have looked at it and said it's a good plan, but it's only a good plan if it gets adopted by the legislature. You know, I think I think you know I I'm certainly respectful of the separation of powers between the administration and, and the legislature, but we also have to be mindful of the financial situation we're in. So, you know, it's a uh, it's very difficult when we're when we're you know reducing you know, education, uh, different programs uh, for seniors, uh, and at the same time, how do we provide the services for the legislature to have offices in their in their home districts, whatnot? So that's a that's a challenging one, one that I was not supportive of certainly of the of the purchase of the LIO. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to let them make their own call. But on the other hand, I can't, be, uh, I can't ignore the fiscal situation we're in today. Well, thus far, they've not, they've not passed any piece of the broad-based tax plan. So I have to say I'm not pleased with uh, what has not happened on the broad-based tax plan at this point, since there's been no, really nothing's been, nothing's, uh, been passed on it at this point. When we make decisions about what's, the, what's best for Alaska and for the long term for Alaska, these are not comfortable decisions politically. I put my name on every single bill and I, I invite uh, legislators to join me in that, um, in that journey for Alaska's future. And I think we, we fix Alaska when we stand up as Alaskans and do what's best for Alaska. We have a great future. We have an incredible future as a state, but only if we fix the, the fiscal situation we have. I mean, we have the, we really have all the tools. We don't have to blame this on Washington or anybody else. I mean, we have all the tools available to us. We just have to have the, the political um, uh, will to, to use them. And so, you know, and, and we have to, we have really have to put uh, Alaska first. And, you know, in my state of the state, when I said I didn't get elected to keep the job, I got elected to do the job, I invite others to join me in that, in that, uh, on that journey.